<laughs> All right, we are recording. Good progress. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll do an intro. Hey, what's up, Cam fam? Welcome to another installment of Essence of Everlore. I'm your host slash LM Uriah. Uh, say hi to Cam fam, everybody. Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, normally we are streaming live, but uh, we're having some te technical difficulties, so it'll only be a recording. So uh, if you're watching this, uh, I guess the only way you'll get this is members only content or on YouTube. Uh, so yeah. welcome yeah, to the Forgot guys, Stream. Uh, <laughs> um, we uh, want to just let you know that we have social media. So we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and Discord. That's Everlore Game. Be sure to follow us there. Uh, we love the community. We love the conversation. And we love you, Cam Fam. So check us out on our socials. We also have a YouTube channel, uh, which you can find videos like this and other things. Uh, and that's Everlore Game. Um, put that in the search bar. You'll see our channel. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share it. Uh, but most importantly, hit the bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video to our channel. Um, we also have a site called manchildltd.com that is ready uh, for you guys to go check out. We even have a store that sells awesome merch like t-shirts and hoodies um, and also our Traveler's Compendium so you can get started playing your own session. Um, last but certainly not least, um, if technical difficulties aren't happening, we stream Monday nights, 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's twitch.tv forward slash Essence of Everlore. And we stream uh, with Wahuru Thursday nights, 6.50 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's twitch.tv forward slash Everlore game. Um, Cam Fam, uh, the Essence of Everlore stream is trying to reach 50 followers. So if you could uh, go ahead and give our Twitch channel a follow, that would be awesome so we can reach the affiliate status um that'd be amazing so go ahead and check out twitch.tv forward slash essence of everlore we appreciate you cam fam i believe that is everything um before we jump right into it i kind of have to skim through some stuff so um you you you, you guys said there's a uh, there's an ep uh we have to roll for some ep I believe that pocket has to roll for you. Or was that last time? Oh, it might have been Norfa. Yeah, I think. I think oh, pocket said he wanted to North wait. Oh. Did no, you not roll pocket? Roll last time. No, wait, pocket. I rolled. Did. Yeah, so it might have been, So I think it was Norfa. Well, that's unfortunate. Norfa's not here to roll. Um, but. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just do a recap. It's going to be a quick recap, but again, uh, on these super quick recaps, uh, I try to balance it out with some extra EP. So um, I guess, uh, who wants to go ahead and attempt? Raise your hand up. All right. I got all four of you on my screen. Uh, it goes Brad, Noah, Mika, and Pocket. So I guess... Uh, Brad, you'll be one. Uh, Noah, you'll be two. Mika, three. Pocket, four. All righty. I rolled a three. Pocket. Go ahead, Methaboa. Oh, Methaboa. Uh, let's see. Last we got into a uh, fight with Bubbles and, and a gigantic snake um we ended up killing bubbles um the snake ended up getting hurt like severely um it got like half crushed and the other half of it was working um and I, if i'm not mistaken the rat and cast a portal and like got the snake in it and like sent it away that's all i remember oh okay great let me roll again. Um, disembodied voice. That is a one. Uh, Hephaestus. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So we started off right into a fight. Norfa went first. He set some people on fire. Then it was Pocket's turn. Uh, he Pocket bit a knoll and killed him. Then he killed another knoll. Then met the boa with the awesomeness of a mage, picked up a dog 
and threw it at another <laughs> dog and did 10 damage to each. And then we slaughtered all the dogs. And then Pocket was impaled by a demon creature with horns into like a tree or something. He like got like rammed with head butted into a tree, impaled. Uh, I cast Catapult and healing waters on pocket. So I like catapulted away the dude, hoping to break his neck. It didn't really work. Sorry, pocket, if I hurt you significantly. And then I tried to heal pocket. And then there was a giant snake and another creature we called Bubbles, who are fighting us. I, I think Bubbles, I don't know if we made that up or how Bubbles became a thing, but Bubbles was the name. And then I- <laughs> And bubbles, and then we killed bubbles. Narad uh, <laughs> cast a portal to the bottom of the river far away, and then the snake went through the portal. And then I put at the very bottom in all caps, we need to heal pocket exclamation mark exclamation part. So that's gonna be my first <laughs> thing is healing pocket. Okay, all right, roll again. Uh, that is Naradin. The dice hit pocket on recaps. Right? Okay. So, we <laughs> somehow end up fighting because we got off the boat and then so we were walking and then we killed all the gnolls first of all. And the dogs. And the dogs. Pretty good at killing dogs. People can't hear you if you're not enunciating. And then after we viciously destroyed the dogs, these two things. Well, first, bubbles came. And bubbles had these like giant horns that impaled Pocket into a tree. And then my dad tried to catapult bubbles to break his neck even though I told him it won't work. It was get off unattached to the tree. He's like, no it will. And guess what happened? It didn't work. He just got freed from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have seen it coming? And then <laughs> after that pocket thought he was free. free. Then a giant snake Guy came bubbles. up. No. That, yeah, but, well, who's Bubbles? Bubbles is a demon. Oh, I'll tell you the snake. I fondly named the snake <laughs> Chuckles because I liked his the smile and or because he opened his mouth, thought he was smiling, but really he was about to eat the pocket. Spider details. Okay. Um, and then as he was crushing pocket i somehow come in and break his entire spine okay i rolled a 12. well he's i think it was only the back half of his spine all right yeah i'm counting down and then we killed them and that's all right game over there we go all right pocket well let's see the LM broke the timer. <laughs> yes. We fought We're we fought Bubbles and Chuckles. Game. That was in-game. <laughs> it was during the there game was, that he broke the timer. There was a man with a boar head that decided to gore me into a tree. That is correct. There was a snake bug that constricted on me. That is also true. Chuckles killed Bubbles. And... We, it's a win-win situation. <coughs> That's it. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine then. Um, let's see. So, Mephibola... Yours was pretty short, but you went first. 
Um, and so with the time bonus, <clears throat> you have three. Um, let's see. Hephaestus, you had some good info, so I'll give you three as well. We uh, Naradin, you had some info. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I'll give you three. Uh, Pocket, it was Slim Pickens. Uh, but I'll give you two. Okay. I'll, give, I'll do that. Next time, I'm not going to remind you that you broke the timer. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, funny. So um, well, all righty then. I guess we should be able to get started. Oh, no. I'm on my laptop, but I haven't plugged it in. Kind of need to. That would be a good reason why it's not charging. No, no, no. I'm on my Chromebook now. My Chromebook won't allow me to. You went, you went mute. You went mute. You are on mute. You are on mute. <laughs> okay. Last thing we heard was your Chromebook. <laughs> and then you went mute. That's fine. I All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Awesome. Hey. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's jump right in. To where we were last week. Want to loot? Pocket, what is it? I would like to start looting. I knew it. I said you want to loot. Ha, ah, roll insight. I already did. 35, 4. Uh, 34. Okay. You will. Find the I'm hammer. Bubbles. I'm looting bubbles. Bubbles is my okay. concentration. Okay, you'll find. Well, that's the only thing that's kind of there, really, other than the knolls and whatnot. And the dog. Well, the bubbles has a hammer. Ah. There's a hammer over here. Hold on. Let me see. Bubbles also may. Okay. Uh, Bubbles has a hammer and armor. It's it's seen. Armor this fast for the hammer. Plated. I would like to cast arcane insights. Okay. I'm fully prepared to get the hammer. So, um, anything with our thing in sight, both things are uh, enchanted. Can I have the hammer? I, I have this giant hammer I bought. It was 20 bucks. I actually wanted <laughs> Wow. That's hilarious. Um, I need a weapon under my, then my dagger. That's like a one in I would get a weapon. I would get a weapon like, like one because I got one now. Oh, awesome. Thank you, sir. A darkness said she needs a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to make that happen. Um, with your arcane insight, you will see that it is a plus two to hit and damage. Um oh, wow. And it also seems to have extra fire properties. Um, and then I know fire. Uh, the plated armor seems to have an enchantment for extra armor. Wait, what's huh. the enchantment on the armor? It's a plated, it's a full plated armor. Seems to have an enchantment for uh, more vestment. Out of game. The armor seems to be more sturdy. 
<laughs> I wonder at a game, uh, who's actually like the I guess the enemy's uh, punching bag. I don't know. The real question is who has the APR to afford to wear that armor? Hey, I That's true too, because it's probably really heavy. Yeah, I don't have the APR for that. No, get your sister a water, please. Um, out of game, if you would like, if you would like to know, uh, this full plated armor is six APR. Oh, I'm sorry. It is. Eight I did weapon. I did hammer. But it has a vestment of plus yes. 17. Plus 17? Holy but it's six APR? Six? Yes. yes. No, it's eight. Eight? Holy moly. I don't know that any of us can wear that, honestly. It'll cripple us. We make it while we do it, Lola. Um, uh, I have to find the back sheet. I mean, I like oh, so you're saying like if you equip it, you just automatically lose eight APR? Yeah, it costs eight APR to wear this armor. Oh, I see now. So your I, current I, armor missing. probably costs like two, so you would I lose was six the APR cost. Mm -hmm. It's eight APR, but it's seventeen vestment. I think we should just put it in a in, in a bag and we'll we'll figure the armor out later. <laughs> okay. Um so that's what I'm assuming we could probably put it in Naredin's bag. Is Naredin's bag big enough to hold it? Like we don't even know how big bubbles is. To be fair, well no, I can't. That's my input. You guys have to figure it out. Never mind. How big is bubbles? Is it question? Is it uh, possible to get like a ring of APR that will add like three to our APR? So it's possible to increase your APR and maybe potentially get something that would do that. Um, super expensive uh, and also hard to come by. Uh, the best way to do it would be to get something for speed or agility instead of something dedicated to action. Speed throughout. will increase your well, APR. Yeah, yeah right. speed and agility will do that. Um, but it is possible. Uh, also, I guess to throw out there, I know, I someone so who might be able to use it potentially. Not that I made it for them, but th upon consideration, you do have someone that might be able to use it. Is it Norco? I mean, uh, or, uh, uh, Norco. It's Norco. not Norco. I could uh, use it. What's but, your uh, APR, Noah? Uh, mine is 14. What's your with current, current? With my current armor. What's your current armor's draw? Uh, two. So... So you would go down to an eight. That, that is true. Would you say, man, or, you know, you only, that the names, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I'd have uh, he would go down to eight APR. However, he is the only one with the weapon that costs one APR. And if I, then Wait, I could what, take off one APR? my armor right now. So, so his total APR would go down to eight. But he is no, the only one. Well, oh, because oh, or... if I took off my current armor, it'd be sixteen. Yeah. So it'd go down yeah. to no, it's eight. Oh, then it'd go down to eight. Yes. Yes. So, um, but he is the only one that currently has a weapon that only costs one APR. True. So you could probably still do a movement and get three attacks in. For the top half. Well, here's my question though. I don't want to rely on my dagger. I've gone yeah. past that now. No, you're past it. 
I only use the dagger for An emergency. either fun or emergency. Guys, <laughs> that's a big boy. Well, it's in one in twelve to kill the other guy. It's also one in twelve to kill me. That's true. So, well, it won't necessarily kill you, but there's a high chance it will. <laughs> well. While you guys decide on that, you have a hammer that uh, seems to have plus two to hit and damage and some sort of fire property. And then uh, some plated armor. Uh, also, uh, Pocket, you will see with that insight what appears to be a door in the ground. Huh. Uh, so I'm going to like point and say, does anybody else see that? Uh, yeah. You guys can go inside if you want. They can get into the new shoes. I don't see anything. What? You can't. Wait, are we supposed to roll inside or something? You can if you want to attempt to see what he's pointing at. What'd you say, my Fabella? No, nine. roll inside. Oh, I got the weapon roll. Look at me. Okay, uh, you don't you don't see it, uh, Mephiba. Hey, wait, is there money in this hole in the ground? Um, sure. Possibly. Then I have thirty six insight. Hmm. You won't see it. Ah. <laughs> wow. What's pockets insight? <laughs> His was a 34. And he saw it. He did see it. Not cool, man. Oh, um, <laughs> not so cool, cool, man! Not cool, man! It's all right. Alice, you don't have to defend me. <laughs> so before we get distracted with the door, I want to make sure there's nothing on the nose. Oh, the nose. And I have to, I have to heal pocket. I wrote that specifically in my notes. Also, I need, also, to, uh, I need the hammer. You'll find sixty-five silver pieces on the knolls. Um, you'll find uh, that. No, let me see four or D six. You'll find three uh, complete leather armors. Um, that they seem to be. Uh, padded, uh, and you will find uh, one spear. And you will find one other leaded armor, leather armor that's uh, to be hardened. Stop. Alice, stop. <laughs> I missed everything after spear. Uh, you'll find one other leather armor that's padded. So four leather padded armors? Yeah. A spear and 65 silver pieces? What? Yes. What? And an axe. Okay. Oh. That's what you want. Uh, I'm going to see if anybody can cast Arcane Insight just to see the spear or the axe uh, uh, glow. So I'm just gonna go like this. Hey, can somebody see if these? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. I guess yeah, nobody yeah. cares to see if they glow. <laughs> what? I'm gonna cast healing waters on pocket. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I would very much like. Also, no. I would like to yell out at Methaboa to say, hey, we should see if we can get the boat back in the bottle. Uh, you got healed for 19 points of damage. No, cool. What okay. are you at now? Where are you at now? I'm getting there. <laughs> I think we're going to need to heal him again. <laughs> That'd be 47. We saw your favorite. Um, 
I am at 47 you know of 70. He gets to it. <laughs> the dad was 70. He had the blue and the white. The vitality is looking nice. They had a baby for them. And. Um, what okay. What's his total? Forty-seven out of seventy. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. Okay. All right. Um, he also asked if someone could cast arcane insight on the spear and the axe to find out if it's have magical. Arcane. It's the tier one stuff. Well, you have seen it before. Well, so I'll try to I'll learn insight and then cast it. I'll cast it. All right, there we go. I'm going to watch very so carefully cast, cast it. <laughs> so I'll cast Arcane Insight. Um, what do I see? Uh, uh, no, you don't have to. You just cast. Um, you see... Um, oh, I thought you told me like a number. It sounded like you said 14. I was like, what? No, no. I, said, I said, what do I see? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you'll see that they seem to be simple enchanted items, just plus ones. That's it? Yeah, it's the two items. The axe is a plus one to damage. The spear is a plus one to damage. Does anybody want to hold this, or are we just going to put it in the bag? Let's Wait, an axe bag. or a spear? Yeah, both no, of them. No, no right. A spear sounds right for you. I kind of and like there's that. a hammer. I like the hammer, though. Okay. Wait, I'll just take think, all of them. You know, I would like okay. the spear. If, if no one okay. else is going to take it, I think I would like a spear. Yeah, I think I might be able to throw a spear and use my rage attack on that. That would be a javelin. Yeah. Well, you can throw a spear. I would definitely like that spear. Then. I would like I the hammer. I, I will give Hephaestus the spear, and the red and the hammer, and the axe. Okay. And no red, red got are the you going to hold on to this armor? So, how much is the hammer? I know it's like across everything. Plus everything. What? How much is the hammer? Plus two to hit and damage. Alex, stop talking to me. It's plus two to hit and damage. Are you asking like the rest of the stats, like the APR and whatnot? Yes. Uh, okay. The hammer costs five APR, and it rolls one d eight, then has the plus two. Um, and then it rolls an extra D4 for fire damage. Okay. How about the spear? The spear is... Sorry. Here we go. Um, okay, the spear is a it's six APR. Six. Um, it's one to ten. One hundred and ten range. No, it's one D ten. Yeah, it's it's one d ten for the damage. Okay, and then it's a plus one to damage. Plus one. What's the range and the weight? Do you know, it's eight pounds. Um, eight the pounds. range. Yes, it's eight pounds. Uh, what's your strength? Five. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's roll to see that then. Because technically, the, the long spear is a melee weapon, but
But if you throw it, then we'll have to see your strength. So your strength is five. I'm, I'm guessing it's stabbing damage. It's yes. It's uh, what's five times fifteen? Seventy-five. Forty-five. Sixty-five. All right. You have seventy-five foot range when throwing it. Um, your that, that range is directly correlated to your carrying capacity. All right. How do you? Uh, Does it have any type of special qualities? How do you? Uh, find it's out a plus one enchantment. Capacity? That's all. How do you Got find it. your carrying capacity? Because it says. 120, but I know it's higher yeah. than 120. Well, your carrying capacity is 15 times your strength. Oh, then it's 150. Oh, snap. So, like, you would be able to throw it for 150 feet, like, in that distance. Okay. How much does the hammer weigh? Eight pounds. Oh, I'm sorry. The hammer... <laughs> I was talking about the long spear. The hammer weighs five pounds. How much does my stiletto weigh again? Like uh, less than a pound. Try even count it then. With like, the hammer, I mean, you don't spear. have to. Don't want to. I won't. So we found a hammer, a spear, armor, and what was the other thing we found? 65 silver. And a door. Well, actually, only Pocket found the door. Your pocket, armor. what did you find? Wait, did I have an axe also? Did I get that yes. or did that go to Bobo? No, that's, that's an axe. And it's Norfa. And Norfa will say, I have no need for weapons like these. I mean... Unless I were to train, and then he will snap his fingers and make a fire axe that looks exactly the same as the axe in your hand, made of blue flames. That's pretty impressive. North was pretentious. So, do I get it? <laughs> I'm not Hephaestus. I am not pretentious. I'm just letting you know that I am not in need of the weaponry. I get well, it. Well, North, I think, can I have it? The axe? Yeah. Oh, there's an axe? Where have you been? Uh, so, 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 can I have it, Norfolk? Uh, Norfolk will say, uh, it matters not to me. Let the flames consume you. And then puts the fire out. He won't have a weapon in his hand anymore. So I have the axe. Yeah, I mean, Norfa didn't want it. So how much is the axe? Um, the axe is a little bit heavier. Your axe is going to be uh, six pounds. It's going to cost six APR. And it's a uh, 1D6. Oh, sorry. That's the, wrong, that's the wrong stat. It's six APR, 1D10 plus two. It's 10 pounds. Three APR? Six. Six, six APR. Oh, 10 pounds. And then 3d10? 1d10 plus 2. 3d10 is pretty ambitious, though. <laughs> yeah. But then you get to add your melee damage. Yeah. Uh, Norfolk Norf Norf will say, um, so, uh, Pocket, <laughs> what is it that you are pointing to? There's a door right there, underneath bubbles. <laughs> it's not underneath bubbles. It seems to be it's like in the bubbles. ground. Huh? No, 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 no. It's in the ground. Um, it seems to be uh, 
if the door were like as if it were upright, if it were horizontal instead, that's how it is. Um, before I go and touch the door, I'm going to say, does anybody else need to do anything? No. Well, I would like to hold on to the silver pieces. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will make sure these are in safekeeping. Uh, and then Norfa will grab the silver pieces and cover, like, his hand almost as if it were a magic trick and you could swear it went into the other hand and then when he opens them it's gone cool trick dude thank you i practiced with lord midas hey uh the banisher of darkness has decided that her name is going to change once again now <laughs> she wants it to be what you want to be uh i you said dance she said she wants her name to be dance class. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, carry on. I guess so. I guess okay. so. Since since the person who's in charge of the boat has decided not to make the boat small again, I'm going to walk over. I'm assuming there's a door knob of some sort on this door. Oh uh, yeah, like a handle. There's a handle. And so I'm going to walk over and uh, open the door. Okay. Uh, you guys will uh, think the psychopath has actually ironically gone psycho um, because you just see him pulling at air. Um, and you see the door clear as day, uh, Pocket. But... Um, yeah, you, you, you see him pulling at air. Um, as soon as you open the door, it seems like there are steps leading down. Uh, still not being able to be seen by anyone else. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to make it even more awkward and say, uh, uh, hey, GC, uh, I need a favor of you. I need you to uh, walk down this door and see if it is uh, relatively safe. Uh, GC will say, I can go with you, but I cannot go in alone. I, I, well, I mean, I can go down a couple of steps after you go in like a couple hundred feet. Like, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and look at everybody and say, well, uh, I'm going down the steps. What if I'm we were to... to Hey, what if we were to possibly taunt the GC and say, I once knew a man with enough metal to dig that trip by themselves, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Maybe the ghost of Andy wants to test its metal. That's no, my oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Bye, Don. But, but G GC will... Uh, you'll, you'll go down. You guys will see... Uh, pocket walk into the ground. Hey guys, did everybody just see pocket walk into the ground? No. <laughs> uh, yes, I yeah. believe that is something. Was he always able to do that? This is the first time I've ever seen him do it. Uh, before I go all the way down, I want to like hold my hand where the door mm -hmm. is still is open. And I want to cast beam, or not beam, but uh, whatever the, the light spell is, and just tell everybody that, like, there's steps underneath the light. So you're talking about glowing orb? Yes. Thank you. Um, roll magic resistance. Ah. That was a waste. Then. You did. You got a 15 out of 30. <gasps> Forty-three percent is not good. Twenty-one. Um, so you you attempt to cast it, and you feel like something is blocking uh, your magic current. Chapters one through three. Um, okay. As well, that happens, you will have to roll a mental fortitude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I didn't win. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you you begin to sweat as you start hearing different voices in your head. Uh, this one uh, much stronger than the voices you're used to listening to. Um, it'll say into your mind, "Who are you? Why have you come here?" How dare you try to cast in my abode? Um, well, I am Pockets, and you are not Ghost Companion, not GC. What? I am not. I am the one who has Dominion. You have a minion? I want a minion, too. No, I have dominion. Oh, well, there was a door underneath in the ground, and I was uh, curious to see what was in the door, and now I'm halfway in the door. It is my door. Ah, well, I apologize. I didn't see any writing on the door. As soon as that happens, the door will close. Um, you will see what appears to be. Uh, well, go ahead and roll insight. Uh, I'm not happy that a door just cut me in half. No, no, you, you, you went down. Uh, Twenty-seven with a one. Uh, well, okay, but insight. Um, you'll see that uh, you are now what appears to be an, uh, an opening under the ground, uh, almost like a path, um, maybe a cave almost, but in the ground. All right, well, I'm going to talk about myself and say, well, clearly you want me to head down the path, so I'm going to go ahead and head down the path. It is not I that wanted you to come here, but I do not believe in accidents. You shall meet me, and please do not take your time. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll uh, survival, I guess, if you want to figure out what's going on and how to get somewhere. Oh, wow. 18. Okay. Um, with an 18, you're kind of a bit lost. This area is completely new. Um, but you feel some something pulling you, almost as if you have uh, almost as if you have a different kind of uh, outside knowledge. It's like you're looking through your GC's eyes, but this time you see both you and your GC from above as you're walking. Uh, and so you're able to see where you need to go. And it seems more and more that this is a cave. Uh, maybe one that used to be for miners, uh, like those who would be, I don't know, mining all types of things. Uh, um, after you about know, 15 like, minutes. Is this like, six foot high or is it like 12 feet high or is it like 100 feet high? it is uh very deep uh like huh. you can't see the top anymore cool okay um and you will uh walk you'll see what appears to be uh water just running water flowing through uh, this cave uh, almost as if it was like a refurbished mine. Uh, and as you walk in about 15 minutes, you'll come across um, what you can only uh, guess to be uh, something habitable uh, that's built into the walls. And you feel this is where you need to go. I'm going to talk to myself again and be like, uh, I think I've run into uh, 
a wall of some sorts. Uh, ah, you finally came. It took you a while. Um, I'm sorry, there's, and there's a little the bit of water on the ground. Um, yeah. The door will open, and you will see um, a dwarf with silver wings. <laughs> like, long, like, super wide silver wings. In fact, uh, this dwarf's wings seem to be, like, one wing is twice the size of its body. So when it fully extends, the full wingspan may be about 12 feet. Wow, I've, I've never seen a dwarf with wings. Uh, I guess you know who I am. My name is Pocket, and you are? I am the one who calls. Ah. Well, it's, uh, I, what, are you, what are you calling me for, the one who calls? I guess... That isn't entirely accurate. I'm more the vessel for the one who calls. I am the messenger. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that anybody was trying to get a, in contact with me. There are many eyes on you, Pocket. Many eyes that are above our capabilities. They have foretold Eli. your arrival. Hey, Pac. I, I was given <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, have, they have foretold your arrival. I've been instructed to impart a gift. A gift from a gift from, well, the one who calls. Messenger. This is my car. It's trash. So, let me get this straight. You're the messenger, but you're giving me a gift from the messenger for the one from the one, the one who calls. Yes. I think that might be yours. Okay, I'll buy. <laughs> Check your language arts. I am. I am not sure. In the um, how long this may take? As he pulls out what appears to be one of the silver feathers from his wings, and they seem so sharp to the touch um, that he casually sticks it into the table, and it just cuts deep and stands up right because it just easily slides into um, just how sharp it is. It seems to have uh, some sort of powder next to it. And he will say, if we shall begin, then I would like to warn you, this may be painful. Begin what? Begin allowing you to be more than what you are. He'll take... He, he will take... Um, he will take the a powder and begin to cover the entire feather in it. And the, the feather goes from silver to red. Um, and then he will pull the feather out and shake the excess and say, I must begin carving. If you would be so kind and point uh, to an open area, as soon as you look at that open area, uh, what appears to be somewhere to sit on rises from the ground. Oh, um, uh, um, look at the time. Huh. I think I did, uh, 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 what, 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 what's happening? Well, you will be 
marked by the dwarves that soar. For I am the messenger, and I was given the task to help you become far mightier than you are. So let me get this straight. The messenger of the messenger from the one who calls is telling a Soren dwarf to give a presence to a half dragon mixed with a cheating. No, no, no. So the one who calls told the messenger, which is a Soren dwarf, to give the present to you. I really wish I knew who the one who called was. Is that what you're asking the dwarf? I, I, can you, can you, um, I want to roll knowledge to see if I know anything about the one who calls. Okay. Uh, um, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. What'd you get? Eleven. <laughs> And is that uh, your total you amount? Don't. Or is that what you rolled? The total amount. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good score. You're you're <laughs> you're kind of freezing up. I heard you downstairs, but you haven't moved on the phone yet. Oh yeah, he's frozen. Oh, that's you, crazy. You're okay. back. So um, I don't know who the one who called us. No. Gotcha. Uh, well then, um, are you sure he said me? Like um, maybe we should uh, maybe we should go back outside of that door and um, and uh, try there. Good plan. You will be permitted to leave after I am finished. Uh. Oh, well then. Uh, now, where would you like for me to begin carving? I would like for you to not carve. Carving sounds uh, uh, painful. Mm. Yes, but that pain is fleeting, and the power is for eternity. Uh, 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 hey, are we all seeing this happen or are we still on? No, you guys are actually up above. Um, you guys can roll inside if you want to. Sure. Hey, does anybody know where Pocket went? He like walked into the earth. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know where he went. I, I thought he was just tripping. <clears throat> Ask again, is there money to be made in this venture? Uh, no. What My insight is 30. Do? Okay. 32. Uh, uh, you guys will see uh, on some of the trees um, that there seems to be uh, an impact burn mark that seems to spread on the tree mixed with maybe some sort of carving marks on that tree. Uh, okay, so we it seems to have a hammer with an a uh, zero inside of it and the lightning. You cut out. You stroked out. <laughs> yeah, we. the last thing we heard was a hammer with some kind of zero inside of it. You oh, like and the hammer. lightning bolt inside the zero. And what inside the zero? A lightning bolt. <sighs> ah. 
Of course, more lightning bolts. Oh, I thought it was a hammer inside of a zero. It is. Oh, okay. Okay. A hammer with a zero inside of it with a lightning bolt inside of it. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Getting a real yeah. strong Thor vibe here. <laughs> Um, so I want to talk to, uh, tell the messenger, I guess I really don't have much of an option in this, do I? You do have a choice, but it would be foolish for you to leave. Uh, well, nobody likes the fool, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead and roll, uh, you're gonna give me three... We're going to do this three times, and then I'm going to describe what ha happens. Uh, you're going to roll endurance, mental fortitude, and then endurance again. Uh, and endurance is a 14. Okay. Uh, okay. Mental, fort mental fortitude is a 16. And endurance is a 22. Okay. So in the beginning, you begin to scream like, like an immense pain <laughs> as, he takes the silver wing. <laughs> as he takes the silver wing um, and begins to carve into your chest uh, what appears to be part of a dragon's wings. Um, as it begins to carve in there, you begin to think that you should kill him. Um, he takes note of that killer intent, and the chair now has earthen shackles around the legs and arms, or you are held still. Um, after, after being, I guess, detained, um, you will... <laughs> After that, you will begin to uh, realize the pain isn't so bad as he begins to finish the carving of the dragon. Um, it looks as though um, it is a dragon but with wings like his, not like your, uh, not like the dragons that you're normally used to seeing. Um, and those wings uh, are bleeding uh, in the in your chest. The blood from the the feather has caused it to fill up the design. Um, when that happens, it begins to harden, and so now you have red wings with a black dragon on you. Um, after that is done, he will begin to say, <clears throat> well, that was close. You almost, uh, gave your life away, but luckily we were able to finish. Um, you should be okay. Uh, you will take 27 points of damage over the course of all of this, um, which takes, takes about an hour, um. But he will say not to worry, and he has a vial, and he begins to pour it over your what seems to be a cross between a scar and a tattoo, and your skin will raise back. Uh, the color will stay the same, but your skin will raise back, uh, and he'll say, this will immortalize on to now. Uh, you are now at full vitality. And uh, you have no more carving dents in you. It's just a drawing. So it seems like a tattoo. He says, this shall make you like one of us. For we Soren dwarves have the ability to... And as he's talking, his wings will fold over him as if they were a vest. Uh, to control how we use our wings as if they are an extension of our arms. Um, so out of game, 
what you can do is you can harden your wings or make them soft and wear them as clothes. Um, you also gain the ability to attack with your wings, which gives you a 15 range, like 15 foot range. Um, this will be uh, here. I have the image for you. There we go. Uh, this will be one uh, D ten damage your wings do if you use them as a sword or dagger or whatever. Um, they do one D ten, and then you add your melee damage as well. Um, you also are able to shoot the spines of your wings as projectiles. They do one d four plus your range damage. Your range damage each. Um, when you begin to try to shoot, you have to roll a d four to see how many of those you can shoot out. So you can shoot one to four of those, and they each do one d four plus your range damage. Uh, you would use your rab, and the APR cost of both of those abilities is four. Um, and now, make it your malleable, whatever, are free action. No. So you can harden them or make them soft or move them around. That's a free action. Okay. okay. Since I have body familiarity, does that drop it? No. Oh, body. You mean like weapon familiarity for body? Uh-huh. Yes. Sweet. That makes it go down by one. That's like weapon adapt, you mean, right? I have, uh, yes, I have weapon adapt body. Yeah, so it would go down by one. And with weapon and familiarity, weapon body, familiarity body. Yeah, so that will make it increase your to hits by one. So when you're using this, it's plus one to see if you can hit people. Okay. Um, and that's for the wings and the projectiles? Yes, because it's your body. Gotcha. Um, the dwarf will say, I apologize for not being forthcoming. It was a test of your will and faith as well. I am Rakmar, and I am, well, I am the messenger. And then he will have a scroll in his hand, and it will, it will, uh, he'll just hand it to you, and it seems like it's written in a language that you wouldn't understand, uh, but you will understand it in your in your mind. Your mind will read it aloud, but your eyes aren't able to read it. Um, and you will know that the scroll was given to him. It seems to be signed by something called the messenger. Uh, or, or I'm sorry, something called the one who calls. Uh, and it says to give uh, something unique to the race of the messenger. So um, it has instructions and it has different ideas. And Rakmar has given you a process that's normally reserved for Soren dwarves, um, but was allowed to give this to you. I would I would like to see if I can use one of my wings to smack Rakmar because I'm still really ticked off that he just carved into my skin for the last hour. I don't think you are. I mean, you feel fine. Ah, okay. Uh, but you can you can try it out um, if you want. As soon as that happens, the tattoo on your chest begins to mimic waves, like almost a fog, and they glow white. Hey, how you do an X? That's pretty cool. Your wings also are able to change color. Oh, that is cool. 
I will be a wing person. What, what color would you like your wings, Pop? I want to be the wing person. Invisible, that way nobody can see them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that. Uh, An actual. What co- what uh, refresh my memory like what what color is my my skin's like purplish isn't it It's uh it's black with uh sort of like cheeto like fur That is correct. You know what we're just going to go full line we can go gold Okay Um so now pocket you have golden wings um and they are wispy like that of a ghost dragon, but you could all swear you see feathers that look as though they are from a soaring dwarf mixed in to the blank spaces. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess since we're in a la- large empty room, I will look at uh, Ragbar and just say I want to... Uh, Try to get used to these before I exit, if that's okay. Uh, He will say, I understand, but you should be, you should find that it comes naturally to you. Okay, so I just want to quickly just try it, just to try it and... uh, Yeah, okay. Okay. I guess that's, I guess I'm going to try to make them... uh, uh, Harden and, and see if I can like wrap myself in them. Uh, you make them hard, uh, and uh, what do you mean by that? Like, if I was to like, mm, like the things like I was gonna see something that was coming, and so I'm like taking my wing to like shield myself. Uh, yeah, I mean you're able to do that. Oh, huh. that's pretty cool. That's new. Yeah. And then I just want to aim at a like a spot on the wall and just try to shoot uh, the projectile. Yeah, you just and uh, roll a d four. One. Okay, so this time only one golden uh, spine comes out. You can roll damage if you want to to see the impact. That one again. <laughs> well, it's a D4 plus a range damage. Daddy, are you closer? Nope. Oh. A D4 plus range damage. Yeah, because it you is uh, 54. No, 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 no. Damage, not not your oh, R&B. Damage. Uh, that's uh, six. Yeah, I mean, so it just does a strong impact into the wall. Very cool. Uh, I guess I, I, I thank you, Ragbar, for this um, interesting gift. Uh, if you do you see the one who calls on a regular basis? I am not allowed to see the one who calls in person. I am allowed well let's just say that he has other messengers. Well, if you could Give the messenger of the messenger a message that says <laughs> that I thank you for this gift. Uh, I would appreciate it. It shall be done. And he'll wave his hand, and it seems as though stairs are immediately in front of you and say, There's no need to journey any longer into the cave. Hmm, that was interesting. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to go up the steps. Okay. Um, he will say, uh, as you are leaving, the, uh, the messenger, well, me, Rakmar, I've been given one other task to foresee. It is on that scroll. Give it to your dwarven friend uh, as you begin to come up out of the ground and it vanishes. The scroll vanishes? No, the door, like everything oh, pertains to you, gotcha. vanishes. You're now in front of everyone who's looking at a tree that has burn marks and slash marks with a hammer. I want to take, I take my wings and I want to wrap them to like, kind of like hide, but not really hide. Like, it's oh, okay. like because I have golden wings and I'm just going to stand there like this. Yes. Uh, so you guys see what appears to be a golden uh, pillar, for lack of a better word. Uh, I'd like to come closer to investigate. Okay, um, roll insight. Uh, 32. Okay. Uh, you feel as though you've seen, uh, this being before. I feel like I've seen it before. Yeah. Um, it reminds you of a certain psychopath. Norfa will also check and say, huh. So, Pocket got a new wing style. And then I just want to open my wings as big as they can go. Uh, that's the third kind of like, fan. And kind of like just glide just gently over the grass. And be like, okay. look, guys. Yeah. So, you will see Pocket uh, and his 30-foot wingspan uh, gliding over the grass as he says, look, guys. <laughs> okay. And then I want to say, hey, Hephaestus, um, the guy, the messenger of the messenger of the... Here, take this. It's from a dwarf. It's from a dwarf to Hephaestus. Um, Hephaestus, what's up? Hephaestus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got... Yeah. You, got yeah. you got a scroll. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I was thinking. Okay. So, Pocket gave you a scroll. Are you going to read it? Yes, I'll read it right now. Okay. Um, you get the gist that this is talking about the same thing uh, Yurigan alluded to in the first note, um, but it has more information. The scroll says, The Bow of Death. This bow, it seems to be made from shadows that have been solidified. It is weightless, but it's perfectly balanced when someone can wield it. Ooh, I like the sound of that bow. It is the bow of the great assassin, Mark. Mark? His name is Mark. Yeah. Accounting? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Mark's from accounting. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mark, like. From payroll. Oh my gosh. Mark from payroll. It's it Mark, is. like he hits the mark. I knew he had a secret life. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> 
He is known as the long shot, the shadow oh. marcher, and the forgotten killer. That Mark, I knew he had nicer lunches. Than <laughs> Um, okay. It has what appears to be a map in Dwarven. Like, not a drawing, but uh, I guess the equivalent to, like, MapQuest, where you had to print out directions. Not and they're, like, answer. written words. All right. Yeah. So it has those instructions written in Dwarven for you. I do read Dorman. I'd like to read it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it just tells you how to get to where they were last seen. How far away is it? Over the river and through the trees on top of the mountain. <laughs> it's through it the is. Way. It seems to be about a day's journey. But it seems as though you feel like there's some sort of urgency. All right. Hey, team, I know we got a lot going on, but I would I want to go to this place. <laughs> That's like a day away. I got to go. Yeah, for Norfolk. I don't know. Uh, Who's coming with me? <laughs> yeah. Nor Norfolk will say, um, it is not for me. Well, I will go with you. Hey, thanks. I'll go. So wait, was Norfa's not coming? Norfa said it is it is not for me, but if we are to adventure, we can. Um, except Naradin, you uh will see the markings on the trees, um, and what appears to be a spirit uh will jump out onto your shoulder. Um, and it seems to be that of like a squirrel. <laughs> I like to communicate with the squirrel. Uh, uh, the squirrel is looking at you um, and then looks at the tree um, and it seems to want to lead you somewhere. All right. We're following the spirit squirrel. No, I'm going to get this bow. Then I'm following the spirit squirrel. How are we going to meet back up? Uh, might, might I suggest that maybe I perhaps will go with my dragon brethren? There's great Norfolk? strength. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sure, Norfolk. Okay. I'll go. So wait, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? How, where, how are we going to meet up? Because this is going to be a day's journey for us. What's the deal? I think this. I guess we shall see each other in Darillo. Yes. How far away is Darillo? <laughs> it's, uh, it's another ten day if you hightail it. I'm still following the squirrel. you. All right. I guess he's got to go after the squirrel. I got to go after the bow. Meet me in Darillo in a ten day. Okay, so Norfa and Naradin are going Norfa together. Is anyone else going with them? I guess the only person that's undecided is the other dragon. Really don't feel like chasing squirrels. <laughs> the dice said I should chase the squirrels, so I guess I'm going to go squirrels. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Oh, hilarious. You sure? You don't have to chase the squirrels if you don't want to. You can go with Mephiboa and, no. and Hefek. Can we actually see the squirrel? Uh, only only Naradin can right now. You could roll so, your magical aptitude for the spirit realm. Like, open your, your eyes to see if you can see the spirits. You could open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would what role would that be? I think I have that seen is, 
that is either naturism or alchemy for you. Okay. And I think you use naturism. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and use naturism. Um, I guess it does involve animals since it is a squirrel. Yes, it does. Yeah, 34. Yeah, you can see it just fine. Ah, so there really is a squirrel. Well, guys, I guess I'm going squirrel chasing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Norfo will say, well, then, let us hope that we meet together and are alive uh, when next we see each other. Yes. Yes. We'll see you in the okay. Hopefully, we catch up soon. All right, in the row it shall be. Um, Maradon, Pocket, if you would be so kind to lead the way. I don't see the squirrel. Your mind so simple, track this one. Ah, yes. There's the one following the squirrel. This squirrel, really is a squirrel <laughs> All right, squirrel, where are we going? All right, for me and Ephesus. Or be like, uh, yeah, so, so you guys can roll survival for me. Uh, Hephaestus and Mephiboa can roll survival. Uh, Mephiboa has the higher survival. Let's see. Oh, I got an 11. Though. Not 12 for Norfa. I know the survival is pretty solid there. 22 for me. I just got 28. Okay, so I mean, you both are fine following the instructions written on the page. Uh, okay. You will see uh, a stream um, that you were able to cross. Um, there was a, there was a bit of forest that you had to trek through. Um, you quite even like there was a, a part of the forest that was completely dark, just encased in darkness for seven hours, um, and you guys were able to walk through that as well to make it on the other end, uh, followed through till you saw um, the uh, vision of the bow um, almost seeming as if it was guiding you through shooting an arrow. Um, and then you guys will arrive at a grave. Grave. And the grave okay. reads the forgotten killer. Um, but then in super small text, it'll say uh, like apostrophe S and then it'll say last victim. Wait, the forgotten killer's last victim? Yes. It's hardcore. Why did they forget it's a killer? It's just... It just happens. You just forget. Well, listen, well how does the victim have no name? Maybe they forgot it. Maybe his name was Mark. <laughs> no one suspects of Mark. So wait. Oh. The bow is leading us to this grave. No, so no, no, no. You saw a vision the of the bow. After the darkness. Oh. And it's at this grave? Well, um, well, it led you to there. I guess we're grave robbing. Let's dig it up. <laughs> okay. In. Okay, oh. you guys can roll proud. Uh, Naradin uh, and Pocket and Norfa. Norfa rolled a 12, not 12 on their survival, but you guys roll survival too. Twenty-six. Noah, you gotta roll. What do you need to roll? He has to roll survival. I got a twenty-three. Yes. You have all the dice. And roll prowess as well. Add a six to your survival. Thirty-two. Again. Add a two to your prowess. Eighteen and seventeen. Eighteen, seventeen for no. Okay. Rabbit. So, uh, Naradin, you are starting to lose the squirrel, 
but Pocket and Norfa are able to keep you on the right track. Uh, Pocket, you'll notice that the squirrel begins to pick up paint um, and is pulling away from you. Uh, well, like all of you. Um, when you notice that, you are able to double time it and start keeping pace with the squirrel. Uh, Norfa uh, has also, uh, while not as fast as you, um, is keeping pace with you. Uh, but Naradin is slowing down. Uh, he's getting lost. I would like to uh, use glowing orb and let it trail behind me as far as I can make it trail behind, but still stay up with my pace. And yell at okay. Naradin to chase the light like you're chasing the squirrel. Okay. Uh, Naradin, what are you doing? Red, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Ask the squirrel to slow down. Squirrel! He's going to call out to the squirrel and ask it to slow down. Uh, it will not. It'll actually speed up. Uh, all of you guys make a prowess again. Ooh. Rocky, no. Roll my prowess. Oh. I just lost it. Uh, six. Everyone must have. 21. 18. 18. Norfa, Norfa will uh, trip, but before falling, uh, will spread the wings and begin to fly to catch up with the squirrel. Um, hey, look at him go. You guys yeah, are starting to fall behind. Fly after the squirrel. Okay. I don't think you can see the squirrel, but you can fly after uh, North. No, I'm the one who knows the squirrel is there. I was the one who saw it first. Yeah, but you 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 jacked it up, really. You, By you're now, gone. I'm Norfa, and so I see this squirrel. All right, he's gonna follow Norfa. You you're, you're frozen. We missed everything. Yeah, I know. It's back now. Anyway, you you pocket sees the squirrel now because the squirrel was uh, pulling away from you. That's what you were saying. Yes. In that show. Okay. I wrote a one though. Yeah. So I mean, you begin to trip and fall. Uh, you need to make up some ground. I don't know if you're gonna. What are you going like to do? Use speed I would like to okay. use speed and fusion to try to try to go up and catch the squirrel and ask the squirrel if he can just slow down a little bit. Uh, with speed and fusion, you are able to move a bit faster, but you are still far behind Norfa. Wow. Uh, Norfa is starting to pull away as Norfa is flying even more forward. You guys have been running. I guess I'm going to go ahead and start flying too. Okay. Uh, you will start to catch up to Norfa and then begin to see this Squirrel again. Uh, Naradin, what are you doing? Uh, have I, can I see the squirrel again? No, you are so far behind. You see Pocket and Norfa, though. I'm going to fly as fast as I can to catch up. Okay. Uh, you do that, and you can kind of uh, keep pace with Norfa. Uh, roll prowess, uh, Naradin. I mean, I'm not going to trust my dad's roll prowess. <laughs> Keeps wow. her on the stick. Why roll a five? A five. Plus? That's only 17. 17. 
Uh, so yeah, you're not catching up to Norfa, but you can still see uh, everyone else in your sights. Um, as that happens, though, it seems as though Pocket and Norfa stop, as Pocket and Norfa will take three points of damage as they hit a wall. But it's not a physical wall. Not it's one like that you've been here before. Then I will cast Portal Breach because I can see past the wall because it's not physical to right after the wall. Like a few feet ahead of it. Okay. Uh, are you guys going through the portal? I want to see if we see him on the other side of the wall first. Okay. Um, are you going to go through the wall, Noradin? Yeah. Uh, when he passes where you guys could not pass, you do not see him anymore. Ah. What do you think, Orca? It's, Norfa. It's Norfa, thank you. I guess we must be here and wait for his return. I would hate for him to die. Well, die alone. Yeah, his, you dad, to die? his dad would not be happy. Yes. I guess in the meantime, we could perhaps train, camp, spar. Um. Go ahead and hold on to that thought. Maybe we should, uh, should camp first. That way, um, uh, that way, I, I know where to wait. Should anybody wander up? Yeah, let us set up camp. Uh, Norfa will begin to craft, and okay, Norfa will begin to set up some tents and take out the bedroll. Um, he rolled to start a fire. Um, and he just makes a wooden, or I'm sorry, a blue flamed uh, javelin and just sticks it on top of the pile of wood and kindling, which lights it on fire. Um, but it makes blue flames even warmer uh, than your regular campfire flames. Um, huh. And Norfa will say... Um, is there anything else we need to do? How good is your tracking skills, North? Uh, they aren't terrible. Uh, there's always room for improvement. Um, I, I feel like I've got to uh, um, search the area. Um, okay. I, I will... Remain within uh, hollering distance. Uh, <laughs> if, if I if I run into something, I, I'm sure you will know. Okay, I should be able to keep up with you up to a mile. Right. Okay, so I rolled a thirty-four. And I want to look for animal tracks. Uh, yeah, you'll find them. What are you looking for specifically? Cat-like animal tracks. Uh, you'll find two sets that appear to be similar to what you're talking about. Are they, well, let's see. I guess they would be further away from the fire. Um, yeah. What's the area that we're in right now? Is it is it heavily wooded? Is it like yes? Okay. Um, so if the which way was this? If the animal tracks are going east. I want to go a little bit further south and see if I can pick up on the animal tracks again.
Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so now I want to go a little bit east, but I want to stealth this time. Okay. And I want to look in my bag and find my my jerky that I have. And <laughs> I want to fashion my rope in the shape of a uh, like a lasso. Okay, you can do that. I'm going to cut you into Radden. Radden, you go through uh, with no problem. And as soon as that happens, your wings fail you. Uh, you drop to the ground. Uh, I don't think you were flying too high, so you'll only take two points of damage. Um, and uh, your wings are out, though, but they, they just seem to not allow you to fly. You will find a stone that seems to be split uh, by a hammer. It seems to have a circle with a lightning bolt through the hammer. I walk over and observe the hammer. Okay. Like I want to look at um, it. When you look at it, you will realize that the hammer looks to be almost statuesque and the shape of the rock is in the shape of a heart. Hmm. I want to check for the squirrel. Uh, the squirrel is no more. I want to... So you said there's the lightning, too? Uh, inside, like, in the design of the hammer. is There's a circle, and then there's a lightning. Like an O and a lightning. I want to touch it. Hammer? Yeah. As soon as you do, the entire stone structure collapses into dust. All that's left there is a cataglass construct of what seems to be a dwarf that's like a blacksmith. And it's about like three foot or I'm sorry, not three foot, a foot and a half tall, the like figurine. I'm going to touch that. Okay, you do. And uh, you'll hear, <clears throat> whoa, whoa, son, who do you think you're touching? I, I don't know. That's why I touched it to see if it did anything. Yeah, that's the... the the cataglass structure will begin to talk to you. Saying, that's what I'm saying to it. Yeah. And he will say, um, I didn't ask for you to come here and, and start messing with me. I was perfectly hidden away. Yeah, well, now you're not. Who are you? Who are you? And how did you find this place? A squirrel let me. A, a squirrel? Really? A spirit squirrel. Um, the, the construct will begin to be, like, animated. So it'll, it'll move, but almost still uh, in a statuesque-like manner. So it's still kind of stiff, but it'll move um, and look to you. Really? And then it will look up and roll its eyes. Of course. You can draw inspiration from anything. <sighs> I am Stoneheart. And you might be? Nuradin. Yes, yes, Nuradin. <sighs> I guess I'll tell you. I am... A creation from the god of inspiration, Oguan. Yeah. I am 
but a servant of his. And yet he has given me the freedom to be here and to hide myself away. Although he said one day someone would find me through his inspiration, I would think that it would be much better than a squirrel as he yep. yells up at the sky. I am one of his creations. You would think he would have something more, I don't know, climactic. What, what's the spirit squirrel? <sighs> of that course. You don't need better. Well, if you are here, it must be because he believes that you are trying to be, well, one who creates. You have the gift of inspiration, do you not? Uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, I see. Well, then, show me. Uh, as that happens, uh, another heart-shaped stone will uh, begin to rise from the ground, uh, and flames will emerge from the, the stone. This is my forge. Well... What can you do? I'm just going to make a simple, no, not simple, okay? I'm going to make an arrowhead, except on the arrowhead. Okay, go ahead and roll. I'm going to carve out a design so that it's perfectly balanced, but looks really cool. Okay, roll, roll, uh, craft. Okay. I just dropped the dice, so we're going to use a different one. I love that Hephaestus and Mephibola are really grave robbing. Like, while yep. these things are happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. We, uh, we dig up graves over here at Non-Applicable. Okay, yep. so... Uh, 32. Um... So you're able to make uh, an awesome design. I mean, it looks awesome. Uh, the arrowhead. I mean, what what are, what are you trying to design? Like a uh, shark's tooth or a dragon claw or like what are you, what are you thinking for like a, a feather? Or like, what is this? Well, I was uh, inspired by the hammer, so I'll do lightning. Lightning. Okay. Um, Stoneheart will go. Hmm. That isn't bad. Uh. Yes, yes. It seems even. Well, no. It seems balanced. But it is not even. Yeah. This could use a little bit of work. I mean, depending on how one shot this, they could go a completely different route. Ah. You have some work to do. Well, in that case... It is your lucky day. I've been inspired to help you. You copy that. Okay. No. Uh, the figurine will, uh, I guess, jump onto your shoulder and sit down. Like yes, terrible. yes. This isn't bad at all. The design is not terrible. Uh, but... What if we used a different kind of metal? Like he'll begin to talk like that while he's on your shoulder. Um, while he's going through talking about how you can make the arrowhead better, um, out of game, when you are with Stoneheart, you have plus 10 enhancement to craft. Um, and you have a 60% chance that blacksmiths and other designers 
will uh, be more favorable towards you. Um, and you feel that if you were to be able to start crafting magic items, the effectiveness of it would be stronger than what your average magical smith could do. Um, so, as I said that, he has run through that. Have you walked towards your friends? Sure. Okay. Um, so, you begin, you've started walking as uh, he begins to talk. Um, and before you go through where your friends are, he'll say, hmm, well, I do not feel I should have myself... Uh, be revealed to your companions. Not yet, at least. Okay. And then he will begin to turn, like, make himself stiff back into a, a figurine and pose as if he's working on something again. And he's still on as you walk. Yeah. Okay. Um... We'll cut over to Hephaestus and Hephaestus before we cut the recording. Um, hey, hey. So you guys have dug up the grave. Uh, you'll see just bones. I mean, like worms all in it and everything. It seems like it's been decomposed for a long time. Like, it's just, there's nothing. Um, no. Jewelry. I'd like to roll an insight no, to grab this here grave. Okay. Staying. Um, now, is there there is potential money involved here? <laughs> yes, so you can add it if you want to. Twenty. Oh no, thirty-five. I got a twenty-five. Um, and what are you looking for? I'm looking for anything of value. Uh, you wouldn't find that in this grave, no. Anything that might tell me where this bow might be? Um, the, the tombstone is in the shape of a bow. <laughs> we did not let out. And like, uh, here's the problem. None of us can read, I don't believe. We need to know what the, the yeah. tombstone says, and we don't know how to read. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, but. No, it's okay. I'm just saying the tombstone is in the shape of a bow. Okay. All right. We thought that I'm was. I'm not 100% sure what to do with that information. It is. Um, are you going to look at it? I would like to look at it. Is there anything underneath the tombstone? Um, the way the tombstone is positioned, when you look at the tombstone, um, it's positioned in a way that whether night or day, there is a shadow cast in the form of a bow. I think that's how the post office works. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is the bow pointing? Uh, it is pointing, so the string would be level with the ground almost, and then the bow would be facing up, so it's casting a shadow onto the ground from the sun right now. Uh, can I stand on the shadow? Uh, you can, uh, roll prowess. Uh, three, four. Uh, you trip over the shadow. How do I trip over the shadow? Let me try again. <laughs> 
Okay. Able to trip over shadow. Um, uh, twenty-eight. You trip over the shadow. What is wait? What is sixteen and twelve? Twenty-eight. That's the highest I can get. And you keep tripping. Yeah. Cause I rolled a twelve. Maybe you should tell her that's. Hephaestus. Yeah. Try to stand on this shadow or try to pick up this shadow um, okay. and, see if, and see if you can do it. Because I keep That's falling. a great idea, Methabella. I'm going to go over and stand on the shadow and try to pick it up. Roll prowess. <laughs> 22. You trip on the shadow. Oh, the shadow. Man. I trip on the shadow? Yes. Yeah. Shall I, like, that's fall what happened to me. Those? Oh, well, that's not cool. Oh. <laughs> so, and I can't pick the shadow up, or I No can't. one has tried. Can I try it? Uh, you can. What do I have to roll? No, you can try to pick it up. Okay, I want to try to pick it up. Uh, the shadow moves, and you pick up the bow. I have the bow. There is a bow made of solidified shadows in your hands. Whoa. Still. So, Festus, look at this. I have... How'd you get that bow? I, so don't, cool. I just I just tried to pick up the shadow. This the is shadow is no longer there. This is the shadow is no longer on the ground. The shadow. This was the shadow. This is why we kept tripping. Nice. Is this what Can we're I looking for? <laughs> yeah. This is what we're looking for, right? I believe. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a bow in a graveyard. We're looking for the bow of death. Sounds yeah. right to me. All right. Well, here. Check it out. Hey, <laughs> thanks. As yes. soon as you grab it, you will notice that it is weightless. Um, and it does fit the description of solidified shadow. Um, it is extremely balanced. And uh, as an archer, you would appreciate that. Out of game, it gives you a plus two to hit and damage. Uh not just RAB and RD, it does plus two to hit and damage on all of them. Like your MAB, your MADW, it, it does it to all of those things, um, to your hit and damage. And then you are going to have to roll me a D6. Yeah, give me one second, I'll come with you, okay? A D6? Yes. Uh, <laughs> You probably want to roll high. Uh, roll high. Super high. Six. Two. Okay. <laughs> uh, twice per day, you have an ability called long shot. Um, you can send an arrow in a direct line uh, for two miles away uh, to hit a target that you've marked. Uh, and the arrow will not be hampered or anything. Like, nothing can impede its path. Uh, so twice a day, you can hit someone that's up to two miles away. Um, as long as you can hit their vestment. And you have to mark it. So you have to have seen the target to mark them. So you have to have seen them or have a clear picture of them. Uh, but once they are marked, you tell me who they're marked. And for about two hours of that day, or, or two hours after the marking, if they're within two miles, you can you can hit them. Hmm. All right. That should come in handy. Um, yeah. <laughs> the APR cost is five. Wait. Let me write this down. So it's bow of death. Yes. The natural APR cost is five. Um, it's a stabbing damage for two miles. You rolled two. Um, 
It is zero pounds. It weighs nothing. Um, and it is 1d12 plus four for damage. And then it's plus two to all your damage and your two hits. So that goes plus into your... all damage and all hits. Yeah. That, so that like, goes... If I just have it in my inventory, I have a plus two to my yeah. maybe. Yes. That's cool. As long as it is on your person. Mommy! What's the within range? A, uh, within a shadow's distance. Your range is two miles. Two miles. Um, I guess your regular range would be, uh, half half <laughs> a fourth of a mile. Your, yeah, yeah, your range is up to two miles, uh, but your regular range. 38% of a mile. You know what? I will roll a D4. Or no, I'll roll a percentage. Unless you want to roll. You roll. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, apparently not. Roll and he says, are you sure? <laughs> well, no, no, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you want to roll, you can, you can try it. Uh, I trust you. you okay, it's exactly twenty percent of a mile. Wow, a mile is what five thousand feet, so it's five thousand two hundred and eighty. So it's five hundred and twenty-eight feet. No, that's ten percent. Oh wait, that's oh yeah. So it's even larger. It's a uh, thousand two hundred feet. Uh, one thousand. Oh no, what 1056 feet. 1056 feet. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, my old boat was 130 feet. Yeah, so, so I mean, yeah, I feel like you're pretty much in range uh normally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um yes. And so that is what your abilities are now. Uh, Cat fam, thank you for joining us for another installment of Essence of Everlore. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. Be sure to check us out on manchildltd.com forward slash store where you can get yourself some merch and a traveler's compendium so you can start playing the game. We also have social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Pinterest, and TikTok, Everlord Game. We love the community. We love the conversation. We love you, Cam Fam. Also, we have a YouTube channel. That's Everlore Game. Put that in the search bar. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends. But be sure to hit the bell so you're notified whenever we upload uh, our live streams and other videos to that channel. Last but certainly not least, we stream Mondays and Thursday nights uh, if we don't have any technical difficulties. <laughs> but on Thursday nights, you can catch Wahuru and, and me get into some crazy shenanigans. And that's 6.50 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's twitch.tv forward slash Everlord Game. And if you want to catch these guys get into some crazy shenanigans with their new abilities, be sure to check them out Monday nights, 6.45 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's twitch.tv forward slash Essence of Everlord. Cam fam, Last but certainly not least, we appreciate you guys so much for coming in and watching the stream. Be sure to tell your friends. We're trying to hit 50 followers. So if you could just go ahead and follow our stream, our Twitch channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And I guess this is technically the last thing I'll say. But remember, Cam Fam, no matter who you are, peace out, Cam Fam. Out. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. I want to go to the house. My mommy went out and I can't